I'm just so disappointed in how people are treating life. Like it's actually, it's, I, I don't even think I have words. I don't think I have words. We are living in an ugly world right now. Oh. Rest in peace to take off. Now, you see this big ass box, right? Okay, and this is a big ass box. It's not heavy, but it's a big ass box. I'm in the elevator and I'm trying to come off the elevator. I have that sitting on the floor because I'm not holding that while I'm waiting to get up on my floor. I put it down on the floor. Boom, we get to my floor and someone's actually coming into the elevator. So he tries to come in, sees me, and then backs out. I'm like, oops, excuse me. I go to grab the thing. As I'm grabbing this and picking it up, he was like, yep, come on out. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Like today is not the day for me at all. Not even a little bit is it the day to be messing with me about anything. Then, what the fuck is this? This is my favorite sweater from Uniqlo that I clearly ruined the last time I washed it and didn't even notice. Oh my God, it's literally all over. That makes me so sad, y'all don't even know because they stopped, they stopped making this sweater and it's the perfect fit. It's what the fuck? Today is just, although, I do think I found an apartment today. I don't know. I just don't know. We'll see. I gotta make a pros and cons list and let's see. It's as simple as that. I gotta see, I gotta see. Okay, now this, I know what this is. I ordered a, whatchamaface. I need to save this box. Yeah. I need to use that. Yes. I ordered this because my girl, Monica, aka Mono's hair, she had posted hers in her house, and I was like, if Monica bought it, I'm buying it. So I bought it, I added it to my storefront. I forgot to put the link in the last uh, video, so I'll do it for this one. But, um, yeah, I love a hooded dryer. It's great for deep conditions and that's something I wanna put a little bit more fo focus into, especially since I told y'all I was dealing with some breakage. My hair needs all the moisture it can get. And so when I do, when I do these deep conditions, I need to be sitting under a dryer and all that. So I think I may have found my new apartment. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I went into a place and was like, I feel comfortable in here. Like, I think, I think I can make this into a home. And I felt that way because the apartment has been freshly renovated and will have all new appliances. So here's a fact about your girl Ken Ken, right? I'm a wee bit of a germaphobe, and we're talking about a wee bit, right? Meaning the thought of somebody else using something that I'm using for my intimate grosses me the fuck out. Which is why in New York, it would take me months to wash my clothes at the laundry mats there because instead of me taking my clothes and washing them, and it wasn't just because I think laundry mats are disgusting, it was because I was not wanting to carry my shit down five flights of stairs and walk it 10 minutes away. And I was in a walk up, like y'all do know that, right? Like I ain't had no elevator. So this is like, I'm straight up like with the cart, doom, 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 each step, doom, doom, doom. And you're not taking a little bit at a time and doing all, no baby, we making a day of it. I'm taking two big old bags and that shit is heavy and it's just, anyway. But the disgusting aspect of it um, is what made me just buy new clothes because the thought of having to go into that laundromat where I've seen roaches, where I've smelled boo-boo, it's just like, I, I, I could not fathom that. And that's why I was really pressed on being in an apartment that had a washer and dryer. So when I got here and I started using my washer and dryer and I'm seeing hair that don't belong to me, I'm seeing gunk and grime that ain't got shit to do with me, and I tried to clean that shit out myself, didn't cut it. 
I said, y'all gonna have to bring me some mail. And they did. After I fought with them for like a few weeks, but I had to send them like pictures. I showed them like on my sheets. There was like a black mark that was showing up on my white sheets after I washed them. I'm like, hell no, nah, this shit is ruining my clothes. And there's literally gunk grime and hair all around the rim of this, like no. And then the dryer, had so much compacted dust in it because they weren't cleaning out the duster that every time you ran the thing, ran the dryer, dust, dust was just all up and through your stuff. Like the little thing wasn't even catching the dust no more. It was just all up on your clothes. I said, no, I'm not gonna be living like this. And so they brought me a new one. I say all that to say, hold on, it's time to flip this chicken. Come over here. We've got some chicken. Y'all know one thing about me. I'm gonna make some chicken for the week. Flip this chicken. Nice juicy chicken. I cook my chicken in oops in coconut oil, a little bit of olive oil, and I season it before I put it in here, and it comes out delicious every time. And actually, like cooking this chicken for the week is really smart because I get to use that chicken multiple ways. It cooks really fast. It doesn't require a lot. You just have to season it properly, and. Um, yeah, it's a good it's a good starter for those of you who don't love cooking. If you buy yourself those little chicken tenders like I showed you last week. You can cook that and make multiple meals. Like tonight, I think I'm going to just make myself a little salad. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just cut it up a little bit, cut up some cucumbers, enjoy it. Uh, what was I saying though? Oh, so the new spot, the new spot, the new spot has, this lighting is crazy. But the new spot has all new appliances. The pill that I have to swallow is that the unit is a lot smaller than the one I'm in. I think that's something I can deal with. Is it what I want? No. I do not want to have to give up the things that have turned this house into a home. I love these things that I've purchased. My table, my chairs, the thrifted chairs that I found that work perfectly with this table and chairs. Like, there are a lot of elements of this apartment that I love so much that work for this space that I don't think will work in the next space. And so it's gonna require me like letting go of this stuff and it's just like all happening so fast. Like I have to move out of my place next week. Like my lease is up next week, bitch. And so I'm giving myself the day to decide if I am certain I wanna live in that building because they are also about to be going through some renovations within the building. Construction will be happening all up and through the building. And so I'm like, am I really gonna pack up and move to move to another place where construction is happening when I know that the construction here is not going to continue? Like the construction that was bothering me is over with now, but they added some shit in the lease. So there's something called an addendum, which means that this is like the contract we sent you last time, but we added some shit. I'm looking at what the fuck they added and they trying to be funny. Basically what they added is everything I've been complaining about, which is you cannot complain about the noise. Noise may happen for 24 hours a day. You can't complain about it. All types of shit like that. And it's like, the fact that that was not in my first lease agreement to me signifies that I had more of a fight than I know. Like you're, basically letting me know that these things were not in the last lease and because they weren't in the last lease I had room to complain and I feel like there's a part of me that wants to keep complaining but there's also a part of me that knows that if I don't get what I want I'm gonna be really fucking pissed and so I just don't even want to put myself in that situation you know what I mean so I think this chicken is done I'm gonna let it sit for just a few more little bits and then I'll turn it off. Um, so yeah, we're in a bit of a conundrum. We're in a bit of a conundrum because I don't know how loud the construction will be. I don't know how it will, how it's going to affect me in this new building. I'll be in a whole different neighborhood. I'll have to adjust to a whole new type of life. I won't have the same situation. I won't have the same access to like parks and the walks that I take now, they're they're gonna look a little different because I'm gonna be in more of a city type scene. <sighs> but I will have a balcony. Um, I will have a new place. I think that's what I need to do is figure out what is it offering me that this place isn't. Hmm, that's the pros and cons list I need to make. Anyways, 
Tonight, me and my homegirls is going to the James room to shake a tail feather. Today has been a heavy, horrible, sad, annoying day. And we just wanna have a good time. So after I eat this, I'm gonna get dressed for that. I should have washed my face. I definitely should have washed my face earlier. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's my plans for tonight. And I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but I'll definitely show you. So I'm gonna put this on the charger because she's acting like she about to die. So yeah, bye. Outside of the news about takeoff, today was a step forward for me because I have been dealing with this what the fuck am I gonna do type of energy. Um, yeah, but it was still a drag. Like even mentioning takeoff and what happened to him just makes me be like, I'm, I still can't believe that shit. Like I can't believe it. Like takeoff? Y'all, y'all just, y'all doing it to anybody. Y'all just don't care. Y'all just don't care. Where's the animosity for people? Oh, never mind. Bye. I'm so grateful for my friends who be late as fuck like me. Cause yes, baby, let's be late together. Number one. Number two. I just feel like I just feel like friends who are late together stay together. But here's the key. Like my friend is running late, and instead of me being like, "Oh, girl, take your time," cause I'm still doing my makeup or whatever, I just say, "Okay, boo, see you soon." Because if I give her any inkling that I'm not ready, that's gonna add another hour to it. You feel what I'm saying? The girls who know, know. So it's not gonna take me no extra hour to get ready. I just need to do my makeup. I'm closer to where we're going than all of them. So I'm taking a little bit more time. I'm gonna show you my outfit in a second. Should I take this off before I do my makeup? Yeah. Am I going to? No. <laughs> yeah. Let's fuck some shit up, baby. Now this is supposed to be a night of dancing, right? And I'm wearing this thick ass um, turtleneck. But it's just like, how much dancing are we actually going to do? You know? Like, I'm just thinking about where we're going and I'm just like, babe. <laughs> like, are we really about to be dancing like this? Are we really? Like, I'm with it. I'm one of them friends, like, if that's what you want to do, I'm going to do it right there with you. You ain't you ain't about to be dancing by yourself. I will dance. Um, But something's telling me it's just going to be giving a light rock to the side, rock to the other side. Like, y'all ain't about to be really doing nothing for real. And that's fine with me, okay? I hate doing my makeup at night. When I tell you I hate, I hate. And there's and there's multiple reasons why I hate it. I hate, let me turn on this ugly ass light so I can do my makeup. Ugly light in five, four, three, two. <laughs> I, I don't know if it really changed much over here, but you can see in the background it's changed. Um, I don't like doing my makeup at night because I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. Like, it's like people who be like, ooh, I can't drive at night without my glasses. Like, I can't do my makeup at night, period. Something happens where all of a sudden I just need a little bit more and a little bit more. Next thing you know, bitch, I'm looking like a whole different type of bitch. Like, you never put on this amount of makeup. Why are you putting on so much makeup? It's nighttime. It's the nighttime. Something about the lack of sunlight, I just get confused at how much makeup I need all of a sudden. So, today, we are going to just purposely go lighter. I was even thinking about not even doing a full face, like just doing under eye, which is like, girl, who even are you? You're not that girl yet. Like you're getting there, but you're not there yet, right? Like slow down, stinka. You're just not there yet. Babe, I genuinely do not feel like putting on a whole face of makeup. I don't, I can't lie to you. I really, really don't. Okay, so what are we doing for real? Like, let's talk about it. Let's do this under eye, because you already put it on your hands. So let's do that. The face is moisturized. Oh, should I put on? Let's see about this. I'm gonna put on this pore minimizer from Makeup Forever, just to see like if she's really minimizing or if she's a minimalizer, right? Like, let's talk about it. It's supposed to be minimizing, but I think you're minimalizing. Let's, let's see some. So it's supposed to go right upon the cheek or right upon your area of pore bill. Okay. So far, so nothing. I'm not seeing one pore minimized. I ain't seeing not a damn pore minimized. Everything looked the same to me. Yeah. Starting to think all that pore minimizer shit is a whole bunch of fucking bullshit. Cause there's nothing I've used that actually works, that actually like minimizes the pores and makes the pores look little like. Besides going to your fucking facialist. Okay. So we're doing the under eye, we're working it down. And another thing about makeup for me is that I just be feeling like it looks like I have so much on. So I put on, ooh, maybe I got it wrong. Like I be putting on so much. It's not that I put on so much. Oh wow, now I'm reminded of what the issue is. 
at night, my makeup looks so heavy to me. And it's like, this is my normal routine. But like right now, I'm just like, oh my God, this is so much. But it's really not. This is my normal, like, what I be doing? I need to put my phone on the charger. I don't feel like doing the mustache trick. These folks are just gonna have to deal with what my mama gave me. And so I will just be putting this directly over the sash. Period. And be clear, my mustache ain't that, you know, serious. This is just, you know, something I'm trying to like figure out. But don't be walking up on me trying to see something. It is not that. It is not that serious. I got a regular girl stash. Like I got the girl stash. Every girl has that. Oh, this nigga been on my line. What? What? Oh, so? <laughs> I'm not in the mood, girl. I got big things to take care of. I got a lot on my damn mind. I was really in the shower, like, going back and forth. And I feel silly when I do that, but I'm like, girl, you really do have to do that. You, you really do have, um, sorry, here in my eye. I have a real decision to make. Like, am I moving, am I not? My latest question is, is this new neighborhood conducive for the lifestyle I'm trying to live? Straight up. Ew, why am I doing so much? But like, seriously though, is it? Is, am I gonna live here and be like, ah, I love my neighborhood, I can just step out and get what I need, which I like. This is what I love about New York. That's why I didn't want to put on no makeup down there because of this turtleneck. Getting pissed off in five, four, three, two. Do I just keep going? Knowing good and goddamn well. Let me put this up the way that I plan on wearing it. Oh my God. Just calm down, get it in. Just calm down, get it in. Say it with me. Tucking the hair in ever so slightly, holding it out ever so slightly, adjusting it. I'm getting mad like somebody else did it. I can't see it. Okay, everything's looking stupid right now. So let me take this off my hand because I can't operate with this shit on my hand like this. I need to figure out if this makeup is about to fuck shit up. Please hold. I've decided I'm gonna continue with a little bit of foundation and I'm just doing a little bit. And I'm also going to goddamn keep wearing this turtleneck as a neck brace. And I'm just going to try it really, really hard not to get makeup all over it. But I'm also reminding myself I have a washing machine and that whatever makeup I'm wearing will come off. That's what I'm telling myself because I have to. Because I. I just feel like pictures will be taken tonight. I don't wanna be looking splotchy and off kiltered. Isn't that the word? Ooh, maybe I should've did my under um, my under lip because it's getting stashed right now. Oh, oh, this is what I was saying, let me be clear. It's cause you need to know this cause I'm starting to think you really think I got a mustache or something. It's not a mustache per se. It's not a mustache per se. What it is is that area is just dark. You know how some people have like darkness around their mouth or darkness like around their eyes and stuff like this area. I have darkness on the upper lip. <laughs> I'm the type of person who could take it if I have a mustache, okay? I have little baby hairs there, but it's not like full on stash. Okay, stop. Now we're now we getting too deep in it. Where is my um all right, you have five seconds to come out with your hands up. Looking for my eyebrow. What the hell? Oh, here you go. Now who put you there? I'm really starting to think somebody be coming to my apartment. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do fuck me. I forgot to do this step. And I like to let it dry before I do my brows. This is just kind of like a brow freeze. It just helps my brows stay in place. I've really been liking my brows lately. I haven't done anything different. I'm just paying closer attention to the natural shape of my brows and following that. And it just looks better. Like, I really know how to shape. Let me not say I really know how to because as soon as you say that, now all of a sudden you really don't know how to. Like everything's looking different. So lately, I've been doing my brows well. That's it. <laughs> we just gonna stick to what the fuck we know. Lately, I've been doing it well. That's it. I'm about to start um, taking pictures of my shit and posting it on Facebook Market and maybe even Instagram because yeah. Oh, that's who I should ask if she wants the chairs. Y'all, if I move into this new apartment, I'm gonna have to get rid of my table and my thrifted chairs, and I'm just not ready. Hmm, no, it can't go on the balcony. See, this is me trying to like 
make fetch happen. It can't go on the balcony, Kennedy, don't even try it. It can't, it can't. No, it can't, come on. That's wood, it can't, it can't sustain the weather. Um, oh, my phone on the charger, fuck me. I need to get one of them super speed chargers because these chargers that I be getting from TJ Maxx, baby, they take the whole damn day. Like, don't need to be in a hurry and charge your phone, cause please, this thing runs on its own time. Let me respond to this boy. Hello. Okay, wait, I'm back. I'm actually putting a little bit of this bronzer as a, uh, a little, um, what am I trying to say? A cat eye? Just to give me a little bit of something. And like, it's not even dark for real. Like, it's not, it's barely doing anything. But it's also doing just enough. Like, a little darkness on the corners. A little fake wing. Without committing to like a whole black liquid liner moment. Is actually doing it for me right now. Just gotta make sure it's at an angle that you actually like. Because it will kind of shape your... The way your eyes look. That's good enough, girl. I've never been to this place. Hello? I've never been to this place, so I'm like, I don't really even know like how I should be looking. Yes, girlfriend. Very cute. Do have on a light blush. Let me take that with me. Okay, now I need to, hair looks crazy, but hair is going to be tucked. Like, this is how I will be keeping my hair, period. I'm wearing my Joe Fresh Good and New Balance um, collab sneakers. I need to lace them up. I'm horrible with lacing up a sneaker. Like, I'm not a sneakerhead. I like sneakers, but I'm not like a sneakerhead. So if that's you, congratulations. Do I want it over the thing or under? It's gotta be over. Yeah, definitely not a sneakerhead. I just like what I like and that's it. That's it, I just like what looks cute on my foot. You feel me? And these are one of them ones. I'm gonna show you, give me two seconds. Please hold. Not everybody downstairs and I still gotta put on my Uncle Jerome. Girl, ah, ah. Oh, I really tried it. Not me talking about her and I'm the one late. Uh. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a damn minute. Okay, I'm quickly putting on my stuff. I'm quickly putting on my stuff. Just putting on a quick earring for the one and the two. And what? Earring going around my ears for real. Like, is this doing three much? Hold on. This lighting is telling me that I have a mustache built for wrestling. That that's what this mustache is telling me right now. And just just right now. Who is texting me from an unknown number? Girl, it is too much for you to be. It is too late for you to be texting me. That is that is some realtor shit. Okay. So we've got those and what earrings? Do we want to go here with it and just say fuck it? Like, do we want to do that? That's giving I'm going to a Christmas party. So I kind of don't. I do need to put on an anklet. That's what I kind of do need to do. Like, first let me put on this bracelet just off the strength. Like, that's how I'm feeling. Put on a little bracelet, put on a little ink -a dink and then let me see about a necklace. Like, are we doing necky right now? Is it giving necky? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out if it's giving necky. It's kind of, mm, mm, mm. Nah, it's not giving necky. For me, like for you, it might, for me, it don't. Okay, let me figure this out because my, let me, actually, let me just show you what I have. Let me, hold on. <laughs> okay, and the, Final outfit looks like oh, this. Tink, 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 tink. Yes. Very much cute. Very much that. Top Zara bottoms were thrifted. And then um, my shoes are these New Balance and Joe Fresh Good collabs. And purse, years, years, years ago, I think it's from Boohoo. No, it's, I don't know. Misguided, that's where it's from. Misguided. And yeah, everything else, Jesus. Okay, bye girl, I think that's my friend honking and she got some nerve, bye. Bitch. First of all, I had a great time at James' room, although we got there very late. And by the time we got there, they were done doing they like speakeasy shit. Like we were there on the night where they doing this. 
I do, 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 do. And so there was a girl singing Erica Badu as we was walking in. It was real cute, real cute. And somebody who I used to work with is now a manager there. And so he took care of us. Cute little dinner situation. Then we was like, ooh, let's go to Rocksteady after this. We go to Rocksteady. Rocksteady is, um, Tonight, it was Afrobeats night, and they was trying to take me around the world, child. And I just was ready to go home, so I called my Uber, bitch. Why my Uber driver was finding shit? Mm. Why the fuck did I get to chitting and the chatting? Mm. Why did I give him my number when he asked for it? Come, come. Yeah, I'm that type of gal. Me that type of gal, gal, and then day. Now, what's pissing me off and making me feel stupid as fuck? is the fact that he has not texted me back after he asked me to text him. Bitch, why the fuck are we doing all this mother? Like, honestly, some of these dudes just wanna see if they can get your number. Like, that's really all it's about. And my dumb ass is out here giving it. Like, you really, I'm talking about, he gonna be all kinds of bitches and hoes until he texts back. Like, right now, it's like, what could you, like, you're driving Uber and you should have already responded to this. And I text him twice, once to just send my name and the second time to say, I don't be giving my number to random Uber drivers, so use it, okay? And that's because it had passed like three minutes and he had never texted back to me sending my name. That was supposed to be a romantic like moment where like I send the name, he gets butterflies, he texts back immediately. He didn't text back immediately. So now I'm sitting here looking like a fool and I still don't see him writing nothing. Like, I'm sorry, wait, did I just get caught? <laughs> I'm starting to think I got got baby. I'm really starting to think I got got baby. But he told me when his birthday was, and I dated somebody who had that birthday, and that nigga wasn't shit. And I'm just like, mm, I date not about you. Um, but he might just be a good time type shit. Uh, <laughs> he texts <talks> back. <laughs> He just text me back. He said he wants to continue our conversation over lunch. And guess what? I'm gonna eat. Yo, one thing about me, I eat lunch. Let me know when, baby. And y'all gotta know if I gave my number to this nigga, he had to be fine as shit. And he was. And on top of that, great conversation. Chemistry was out of this world. Although I did just tell you bitches not to find a man over chemistry. We did talk about other shit, okay? And it sound like it lined up, but I'ma figure out like how aligned it truly is when we go on a date. Cause guess what? That's what I'm in the season of. I'm in the season of going on dates and if I see something I like, I'm gonna go on a date and I'll figure out within that date or the next one, whether or not this is somebody I wanna take seriously. Like that's the thing about me. I trust me and my decisions. Like it's never a wasted time. I know immediately if it's worth my time. And this is worth it. Trust me. Just trust me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna figure out his story and why he was behind that wheel soon enough. I'll let you know, girl. Um, but yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm about to go to bed for real. But I hate when a nigga be like, oh, you know, we should do lunch, ah, ah, ah. What's your week looking like? And then you're like, oh, I'm free on this day. And they're like, oh, that day's busy for me. Are you free on this day? It's just like, why didn't you just tell me what day you was free? Okay, bye. Girl, 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 girl. Good morning. Where am I on the way to? Hopefully my last apartment viewing. I'm just spent. I am really in a pickle of just trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. It's not as easy as like, come on now. Oh, not you're not trying to ha let me have lashes today. Um, it is not as simple as like, just choose something. My home and where I'm living and all that, why does this feel dry and gross? Okay, I need a new one. All of what goes into moving, like that whole situation, the getting movers, the packing, the paying for it all, the getting acclimated to a new space. Like, I feel like I don't get comfortable in a space until like a couple of months in. And ugh, I just, I'm not looking forward to the adjustment of it all. And here's the thing, the building that I found an apartment that I think I like the most, that building is about to go through major reconstruction. They're about to do reconstruction everywhere in the building. The lobby, the elevators, the hallways, the rooftop, the amenities, everything. And so not only will the amenities be closed for a good part of the year, but also 
noise, which is the whole reason why I'm in this predicament that I'm in now with my current place. And so it's like, am I really gonna leave here to move to a place that's telling me they're going to have noise? And his thing is like, you know, we always let our residents know when it's gonna happen and blah, 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 but that doesn't change the fact that it's gonna happen. And also if I'm moving to a new place and one of the reasons why I'm moving there is to be able to enjoy these amenities that I don't have at my current place. Like at my current place, we don't have a pool. At this apartment that I'm looking at, they have a rooftop pool. And so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna wanna go to that pool. Not y'all about to have the pool closed. And so it's like, I, I asked them like, when will the pool be closed and when do y'all think it'll be open? And they're like, we're supposed to be done with everything in April. They haven't started yet, which is like, makes me really nervous. Cause I'm like, y'all, we know construction can take as long as they motherfucking wanted to. There'll be reasons like them not having materials or weather or whatever the fuck that just halts production and keeps everything like moving at a snail's pace. And so he could say all that, but it might not happen that way. And I have to decide if I'm okay with it not happening that way. And I don't know if I'm okay with that. Now the rent is cheaper, but the place that I'm moving to, possibly could be moving to, is a lot smaller. And so it's just like, do I wanna move there? Also kind of digesting the fact that I will be moving to a more traditional apartment. Like this is very much like dream style apartment like the lofty, the high ceilings, the big open spaces, the cement floors, the the um, exposed pipes, like that's dream style apartment. And I have to sometimes remind myself like, Kennedy, you, you gave yourself this opportunity to experience this. There's nothing wrong with traditional style apartments. That's what I keep having to remind myself. There's nothing wrong with traditional style apartments. You just happen to experience something that a lot of people don't, which is this type of apartment. And you know, it's easier said than done. Like I'm having a hard time making that transition back to a, to a traditional apartment because I've been living here. And it's just like, do I wanna give up all this space? Do I wanna give up these ceilings? Do I wanna give up my industrial style windows? Like, do I want to give this space up? And I don't motherfucking know. I don't know. I'm one of them people who does really well when I have other people's feedback, but I also like to make decisions on my own. So I kinda wish that I said all this in the last vlog because I have to make the decision by Tuesday of next week. And yeah, wait, let me, I haven't even looked at what day is actually the day I have to get out of here, if I'm getting out of here. Yeah, next Tuesday. Fuck. All right, let me call this Uber so I can go to, well, it's only five minutes away, so let me halt the brakes. I don't fucking know what I'm doing, man. I really don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think I want to go back to the apartment, though, and, and just sit in there for a second and see, like, how I feel. And I keep like hesitating on that because I'm like, ooh, I don't want them to think I'm trying to do something in there or whatever. I'm just always very like, I'm just here to look at the, you know, like just, I don't want people to think I'm trying to pull nothing. Thank you. Is it possible for me to come back today and do a self-guided tour of the unit you showed me yesterday? Unit. All right, now it's time to respond to text. I have or text I never responded to. Oh. Wait. Just got back from the apartment viewing and um, yeah, no. That apartment, <sighs> um, first of all, one of the units she showed me had roaches laying on their back. Yeah, face up, ass down, dead in the apartment. And you see me? For me, it's like, that's all I need to see, baby. Like, what? And it was one of them situations where like immediately when we walked into the hallway, I was like, oh, I'm not moving here because the hallway was disgusting. Stains all over the carpet, uh, paint chipped all over the walls, doors look like they've been kicked in before. I'm just like, girl. And this is what I get for looking downtown. Like ain't nobody trying to live downtown. So that's that on that. I did make another appointment to go back to the place that's actually something I'm considering. I need to go back and just sit in there for a second. And I'm kind of annoyed because I asked for me to do like a self-guided tour. Like, I don't want him in there with me, but he was like, we don't do that. I said, like, oh. So he'll be in there with me. And yeah, I just want to be able to really see how I feel. I feel like just now as I was walking, I got a sign because a ladybug flew right into me. And then when I tried to brush it off, it didn't brush off. So then I just grabbed it and it was just on my hand for the whole walk. And 
I don't know, there's a part of me that's like, am I supposed to stay here? Am I supposed to stay here? Is this, is this the road of least resistance? And I just don't know. I really don't know. The path of least, uh, the, the path of least resistance. I know the saying, girl, shut up. I know the daggone saying. Like, I don't, I don't wanna make life hard for myself, but I also don't want to not do something out of fear, you know? Which is kind of what I feel like I'm doing, is just like, I'm scared of all the what ifs, which are valid what ifs. Like, they're very valid what ifs. But, oh, that's why, because I use the old ass mascara. How, it, what, where did you even come from? That's why this mascara wasn't doing shit, because it's old. You throw that away. And then like, I scrape the top of my throat and it just feels raw. Like the roof of my mouth, not the top of my throat. What I'm trying to do now is figure out if I'm going to wash my hair before I go out tonight or if I'm gonna go out with this hair. And because my head is itching and I just feel gross, thing, I'm gonna wash my hair. I snipped my ends yesterday while I was twisting these. I added um, the Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Hair Butter and uh, twisted my hair last night. And when I was done twisting, I was like, my ends look horrible. And so I just went ahead and cut them and my hair just feels immediately better every time. <sighs> I want to not be in the mood I'm in so bad, y'all. Like so bad, I wanna not be in this mood. I am fighting against myself about this shit, but I'm really not gonna be right to things get settled with this house shit and I make a decision and I move forward. But right now it's giving, it's giving what it's giving right now. And I'm usually the type of person who can make a decision on my own. Actually, that's bullshit. I actually refer to my friends and other people's opinions quite often. And I don't know what that's about because I trust my decisions or do I? Because, bitch, do I? Because honestly, with every decision I make, low key, I really do, like ultimately this, the decision ends up being mine, like let's not get funny. But I ask everyone's opinion about major decisions before I do it. And I wonder what that's about. I'm not one of those people who's like fearless. I'm confident, I have courage, but I'm not fearless in every area of my life. And when it comes to decision making, especially when it has to deal with like some kind of permanent decision or something that requires me to do something completely different from what I would normally do, I really be needing people to tell me like what they think about that. Okay, let's see, what is it giving? This, my hair actually looks delicious and I don't know why I didn't just wear my hair out today instead of those motherfucking twists because while I was out, I saw so many boys and they were like, no, you 14 year old boy, we're not interested in you. No, Omarion, we're not interested. We're just not interested because I was walking around looking like how I was looking. Like, girl, give it up. That's the thing, if I move to this new neighborhood I'm looking at, I'm gonna have to be on 10 all the time because every other car that was passing by, you was hearing, do, 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 do. And one thing about it, I hear that, I'm like. But today, the way I was looking, you just gotta keep your head turned this way. <laughs> like, it, it, it don't matter who on the street, you ain't got no nerve to be turning around trying to see who behind that wheel. Stay that away. You know, good and damn well, you ain't in no position to be chitting and chatting and flirting and cackling. Okay, let me see what I'm really about to do. Like, my hair looks good, like, let's not play. But, wait, ain't no buts. Hold on, let's go to the bathroom. And my hair looks good. I might have to wear it out. But the outfit I'm wearing is giving like, don't wear your hair out because that's not the look for that outfit. I need to get in the shower. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get, no, no, no. We're gonna figure out our outfit first. That's what we're gonna do. Come with me. Kennedy, Kennedy, your, um, get your, uh, your closet looks a mess. Kennedy, Kennedy, bitch, shut the fuck up, okay? I'm thinking about wearing this Aritzia dress, right? It gives tons of body yaddy yaddy. It's a long dress. 
I'll be wearing this with them same old cream boots I've been wearing. I don't know if y'all been seeing it because I don't know if I've been like vlogging those little outfits that I've worn with my cream boots. But the last few times I've gone out with my girlfriends, I wear these cream motherfucking boots and I'm tired of it. I just have not purchased other boots yet. Um, or just like other shoes that I will wear when I like need to put a heel on. I ain't purchased them yet. So this is what it's looking like, right? Now we go into a spot where it's really mixy and it stays open till like 1.30 and it's giving like, as my friend puts it, designers and vibes. Like designer and vibe. Like all the boys is wearing designer and they ain't really talking about nothing. They just there for the vibe type shit. And one thing about it, bitch, I'm ready to vibe, okay? It's a vibe all the time. <laughs> so, with that being said, most definitely understood, I'm trying to figure out what, what kind of outfit does that call for? We have some options now. Let's not get crazy. Because I got, okay, so I have this Marc Jacob leather sitch that can be paired. Ooh, but I ain't got no black boot. I ain't got no black boot. I have literally zero black going out nighttime shoes. Not a one. I'm starting to get pissed now when I think about it. Because it's like, how you ain't got no shoes? <laughs> like, am I in focus? If those clothes have been in focus this whole time, bitch, there will be a big parental advisory sign on this motherfucking clip. Know that. Because you don't need to be focused on nothing but me. It's already a lot going on, girl. The least you could do is focus on this. Right here. Now, the thing about this dress is it's sleeveless as you can tell it's turtleneck but it's sleeveless when i wear turtlenecks i don't like wearing my hair down because i feel like i am really giving you no neck all you see is head and it just feels like potato to me like potato head and so that's not the vibe that i'm going for i typically like to wear my hair up when i have on a turtleneck but who's putting their hair up when it's looking this good like okay looking as good as a stretch but who's putting their hair up when like okay i could possibly put my hair up <laughs> I'm fighting the wrong battles, baby. Okay, so might be putting the hair up. We're like putting it back. Might be slicking it back, right? That's my best bet for outfits. So let me not even try to like look beyond that. And let me just stick to that. So here's what we going to do. Because here's what we're going to do. Because here's what we got to do, right? I need to shower because I need to get back alive. I ate some food about an hour ago and that shit almost took me out. I was almost about to send that. Hey, boo, I ain't going to make it tonight text. So that has settled. I need to take a shower, rinse the day away, okay? Like, literally rinse the day away, even though it ain't gonna go nowhere. <laughs> and get ready. Okay, so something in me just wants to do like a loosey-goosey ponytail, which is just also like, why, girl? Why is that? I don't know, like, I don't, I kinda hate that. No, no, no I hate that, obviously. Obviously, I hate that, okay? What if we did a loosey goosey bun? What if it was a loosey goosey bun? I don't want to manipulate too much because I might not even wear this outfit and I don't want to ruin my hair. What if like we had like a loose bun? That. This dress is giving family dinner and I'm taking this off. So give me a second. Okay. Um, I'm. Just getting back home. Let me. So number one, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but my shoes have been breaking. Now, granted, this is an old shoe, but what the fuck? And it broke as soon as I came in the house. Like, wore it all night, didn't have no problem, got in the house, broke. Amen, because imagine if this would've happened while I was out. So ugly. Okay, so what I ended up wearing, and excuse this room, what I ended up wearing, I had this just in case I was cold. This is my Mifflin denim jacket. These are some Levi's that I thrifted. This top is a long sleeve um, skin tight top from Naked Wardrobe. I have on this navy Mifflin hat. But just give me the light. I have this Mifflin navy hat and I have these cute navy pumps these cute navy pump situations and my favorite bag that I wear all the motherfucking time but especially when that weather drops it just feels like fall it feels just like perfect um, but this is how I was walking around 
ding, 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 ding. Yeah, until I got a headache, then I took my shit off and I was just in there like this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kennedy, you couldn't keep the niggas off you tonight, could you? The answer is, they never even try to get on me. <laughs> Imagine that. Damn, it's 1 a.m.? <laughs> I'm texting. Why am I texting this man at 1 a.m.? I don't care. Okay, so I made a pros and cons list about the new place. Now I need to make a pros and cons list about this current place. Pros. Okay, um, I had a good night tonight, but what I'm realizing is that niggas really don't be talking. It's like one, we already know niggas don't be talking about nothing, but a lot of times niggas don't even be talking at all. Like y'all don't even be speaking. And I'm trying to figure out like what's good. Like one, I think that I'm at that age where like the men that I'm probably interested in have girlfriends. And it's like, yeah, shout out to her, but also fuck you, bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, shout out to y'all. Love that. But it's like, you know how to be like, oh, it's other fish in the sea. Oh, oh, there's a trillion people in the world. You're going to find somebody, bitch, I ain't found them. <laughs> like, you, 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 we talking in hypotheticals at this point. Because I ain't seen what y'all said I'm supposed to be seeing. And it's about to piss me off. And... For the lady in the back who's gonna tell me, Kennedy, stop worrying about blah blah. Shut the hell up. I'm worried about every part of my life. Every part of it. Not just these niggas. The niggas are just a part of my life. And I can give a fuck about that. There's nothing wrong with me thinking about that, prepping for that, trying to get it together. Yo, I really fuck with y'all. Like the people who. Oop, mm -mm. Like, the people who really fuck with me and, like, tag me and stuff that they think will be helpful to me. And, yo, also, let me say this. The messages that... Okay, wait, I'm gonna respond to him in a second. Like, I don't need to be responding right away or whatever. Okay, but do, oh, this is what I was gonna say. The messages that I got from y'all about the last vlog and how you related to what I was saying and how a lot of us are going through the same things. Little me is so proud, like her. She's proud and she's proud because she knows that she is fully being herself. Right now she's looking for her aqua for Okay. I don't even like this like that. Um, I think it tastes disgusting. Yeah, I, I don't really like it. But bitch, I bought a pack of it so I'm gonna use every last drop of it. But yeah, little Kin Kin is proud of big Kin Kin because I am fully like in my truth and I am expressing that in a way that I enjoy. I love entertaining y'all and this is a form of entertainment. I just wanted to say thank y'all for constantly reminding me that sharing what I've got going on and what I'm dealing with emotionally and mentally does not fall on deaf ears. And that's kind of a bad term. Basically, it's not going in one ear and out. You all are supportive and y'all see me. I feel seen, I feel heard, I feel supported, which is essentially a, a big driving force for me. Like feeling support from people who care about me is, it, it feels like my fuel is being, you know, it's being, it's being put together. Anyway, I'm about to go to bed and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Girl, do I have an update for you. First of all, I scraped the roof of my mouth like raw. So now I'm about to gargle some salt water.
So one of you lovely ladies informed me that the sensation that I'm feeling could be something called side stitch. And basically it's just like over walking. And I think me being stressed, ew, that big ass bug. Hold on. I think the stress of everything was just making it even more intense because I was walking even more to calm myself and get myself together. Um, please hold as I drink this salt water. Okay, so last night when I came home, I talked on the phone for a little bit, I chatted with y'all for a little bit, and I came out here to open up the drapes in my living room just to like look at the night sky. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, but bitch, it was necessary. So I'm opening up my drapes and there's a ladybug on my window. And I've never seen a ladybug at night, number one. And number two, I don't know if I told this story on the vlog, but as I was walking yesterday, a bug had flew on me. I'm like trying to get it off. I noticed it was a ladybug and I grabbed it and it was just crawling on me for the whole time that I was walking. And I know ladybugs are a sign of like good omens and good luck. And I really viewed that as a sign, especially when I saw it that night. It was like 2 a.m when I saw that shit on my window and it was just like, wow, this is, you know, I was asking God to let me know what to do and I felt like that's what that was. Um, and all the times I've looked out my window at night, I ain't never seen a ladybug on my window. So that's just what that meant for me in that moment. So today when I got up, I decided to uh, move forward with signing my lease here. The, the decision ultimately boiled down to these few things. Do I stay with the devil I know or move to the devil I don't know? Do I like that place better than this place? And am I ready to move? And all of the answers were like, I need to stay here right now. And I will prep for my move next year. I need more time. I need to use this time to do other things that I'm trying to do in this space. And I intend on doing it all and just living a very intentional year it it almost feels like a new year to me like doing this because that shit was so my battery's about to die that shit was so stressful that i'm just happy to have come to a decision and be done with it you know i'm ready to move forward i'm one of them people where like a lot of this issue i'm valid in a lot of my reasons for being upset but i will also say that a lot of my upsetness comes from a place of pride and ego because i don't like feeling tried and i damn sure don't like being disrespected and when that happens i feel like i'm owed something and what i'm learning as an adult is that you are not going to always get what you think you're owed and the decision i had to make is if i don't get what i think i'm owed which is a change in behavior and an apology am i willing to give them something that i want aka this apartment i want this apartment am i willing to give this up because they did not make amends and do what I feel that and do what I feel they need to do to make me feel respected and the answer is no I'm not willing to give them this I feel like I have more power standing in my truth and the fact that I want to stay here I'm not gonna let them fuck my shit up so when I went down there to talk to them because I've been not wanting to go in that lease office I said I have to control the energy in this room. And I remember saying this on a TikTok long time ago because I was referring to an instance um, on a set where I felt like the producer had an attitude and I was on camera. And because she had an attitude, I had an attitude. But when we look back at the footage, the only person who's on camera is me. And so it looks like I'm the problem. People don't know that I was responding to energy behind the scenes. And so for me, it's like, that that moment was just like i have to be in control of the energy in the room from here on out because at the end of the day i want what i want and the only way for me to get that is for me to be in control and when i get upset and make decisions because someone doesn't do what i want them to do i lose control so yeah just learning to work with situations instead of working against them I just feel like i get what i want in the end that way which is what i want i don't care about going back and forth with that lady, fuck that lady. This ain't nothing but a job to her. And this is my life, this is my home. Yeah, I had to remind myself of that. So yeah, bitch, we are in here. I am staying. Ain't that something? Okay, so I'm about to actually go back out and do it. I'm gonna go back out and do a soft walk. I'm not gonna be doing too much, but I do want to get some fresh air and just, 
you know have a moment of just like you're home so i'll see y'all when i get back bye i am just coming back from my walk and i feel like i look like it I'm trying to keep the glare from my glasses <clears throat> you know what i hate dumb shit i hate when people act fucking dumb like i just hate it i ain't got no patience for it at all hold on anyway i have very low energy today I think it's because I haven't eaten a lot. Like all I ate today was a salad. It's giving 2009 hump, but I'm just trying to keep my hair out of my face right now. Um, that's so ugly. Honestly, this energy, like this lowness of my voice, this is all I've got right now. Bitch. <sighs> <sighs> Also, I need to get some more water in the body. Okay, I did just go to Trader Joe's for a few things. One, these flowers have gone to the upper room and they're ready to go. Honestly, I would still let them sit here for like two more days. Like, there's nothing wrong with this one. She's still alive. This one, okay, some of y'all staying. These country roses, they stand. These roses, and see, no, some of them, I don't know, hey look. One thing about me, there ain't nothing wrong with it. If this one's molded, so you can go. I think, oh, oh my goodness. All the petals just came It's a beautiful fall day. It just, it feels like fall outside. Like it's not cold, but it's not hot. Like it's not summertime weather. It's just a nice, beautiful day. I sat outside and watched the leaves fall. I love watching nature do nature. Like, I like watching nature do its thing. It's very calming for me and I haven't experienced it in a while. And even though I've been in Atlanta now for a year, this year flew by. I don't know if it feels that way for anybody else, but like, I can't believe that our next holiday is Thanksgiving. Like, what? That's crazy. Crazy. I was thinking a lot today about takeoff too. Just like, the sadness and tragedy of that situation. Cause that's really what it is, it's tragic. Um, I don't even think I really have anything to talk about. I'm just gonna get my new flowers ready. I really love the pink, so some more pink roses. Can you see that? Yeah. And I got some more of my favorite, the country rose. Yeah. Let me get those set up. I did buy some new things from Trader Joe's for me to try. These speculous cookies. Yum. I intend on eating these with my chai that I bought. This is a spiced chai from Trader Joe's. It's gonna use oat milk and water. I got this. Pumpkin butternut squash biscuit. Did I get this last time? Wow, I think I just remembered that I got this last time. I repurchased the everything but the bagel crackers. They're really, really good. Oh. So I bought this frozen salmon and it comes with this lemon herb butter. Now, normally I'd be like, mm -mm, I'm not getting salmon I'm going to the fresh fish section and get my salmon from there but here's tea it's actually better for you to buy it frozen the fresh fish is normally thawed out fish anyway and has bacteria and all types of shit on it or can have bacteria and all types of shit on it because of the thawing unthawing the rethawing process um so yeah I got this it's Hopefully it's good. When you want to unthaw it, you remove it from the package and 
and you uh, let it unthaw in the refrigerator overnight. You could just throw this in um, cold water for 30 minutes to unthaw it as well if you want it to just be unthawed real quick. You do know when you're unthawing something, the water should be cold, not hot. If you're unthawing frozen fish or frozen chicken in warm water, you can get yourself sick. Reason being, uncooked poultry and fish has to be, well, I think this is just for poultry, but, Uncooked poultry has to be at a certain temperature. Once it goes above that temperature, it is prone to like salmonella and shit like that. You don't wanna do that. And then last thing, I got some juices. Wanted to try these juices. I got, uh, this is a berry green 100% juice smoothie. Looks like this. Sorry, it's so sunny, but it looks like this. And then I got this cold pressed juice. Um, it's the red one and it's 100% vegetable and juice, vegetable and juice blend. It's 100% juice, I always pay attention to that. But um, yeah, it has beets, celery, cucumber, carrots, an apple, spinach, ginger, and lemon. Am I wrong for buying juices when I got a $300 juicer that I purchased two years ago sitting over there? Yeah. Do I feel the type of way about buying juices still? No. I'll do it again. And I bought some cinnamon sticks to put in my chai when I make my chai. I'm really excited about that because I am thirsty for some tea. Like, I just want some warm tea. I feel like, yeah, I need some tea. So, I'm ready for that. Anyway, let me let my low energy ass get it together and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. Oh, you think it? I'm gonna try this juice. Well, it's called a smoothie, but it looks it's the texture of a juice. It's kind of thick, actually. Bottoms up. Too good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, in this. There's spirulina, barley grass, chlorella, spinach, broccoli, parsley, ginger, garlic, and blue green algae. Oh. There's also banana, mango, and kiwi purees with apple and pineapple juice. And all those greens I just told you, those are the green foods that are in it. Wow, very much yum. I gotta put this pothos plant in the sun. This poor baby is not getting enough sun. Actually, let me see something. I have this dry plant up here that I got in a PR package. It's just a dry plant that I just kept up there. But I think I need to put Miss P up there so she can get some sun. Cause yeah, and I like that. Gives me a little greenery. Right here, little color. Yeah, I like that. <sighs> My teeth is so ugly. And like, that dangling cross earring is telling me a lot of things. As soon as he popped up with that thing swinging on his cheek, I said, there you go. Knew it. I am really a hit maker. I don't know what I 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 know
<laughs> the sky looks beautiful. Oh, I was saying, explaining to my friends like how I felt because I've told all my friends. I, yesterday I really referred to counsel, AKA all my friends to ask them what I should do about my situation. I told y'all I'd be really asking other people what I should do. I needed their vote, I needed their insight, I needed perspective, I needed people outside of me to give me their thoughts about the situation. So anyway, that definitely helped make my decision. But I was explaining to one of my homegirls, like it feels like a new year. Like it feels like it is a brand new year right now, today in this moment with me deciding to extend my lease because, I don't know if I said this earlier, but because I get to step into this new lease with some intention because I know that moving forward, I am going one, I am going to want to change my space. And so I'm really going to use this year to enjoy this space while I have it. And also take care of some business, build my credit, really be intentional with my financing and budgeting, and just doing some adult ass shit in preparation for the next phase of my life. Because yeah, you know, that's where we are with things. So, gotta put my camera on the battery. This is getting sick now. I need to go ahead and order that battery. Straight up. Straight up! I just wanted to save us up real quick while I was doing my hair. So I'm over here twisting with the vanilla bean hair butter from Maui Moisture. And I'm using that number five oil, the number five oil from the hair kitchen. I'm using that on my scalp. I'm not quite ready to wash my hair. I'll probably end up washing it tomorrow. But for tonight, I just wanted it to be moisturized and I wanted my scalp to be moisturized. So here we are. I really like this brush, by the way. I've talked about this before in other videos. Um, but this brush is the Felicia, Felicia Leatherwood. Is it Leatherwood or Featherwood? It's one of those, but I like it because the brush like expands as you use it so your hair is not being too like tugged around. I don't know how to explain it better than that. It's the best way for me to explain what I mean. I do love twist outs and I think they can be helpful for hair growth, but I think too much of anything is not a good idea. And I felt like when I was doing twist outs, I say like 2021 20, last year i started feeling like twist outs every day was was causing breakage in my hair we gonna see because i have been experiencing some breakage over the last few months and i'm gonna see if twisting my hair has helped that i also just have to do a better job of like keeping my hair moisturized and like applying product. I don't really like using a lot of product in my hair after the first wash day. I don't like reapplying product, but sometimes you need to. I'm like kind of combing at my scalp to get up any possible dandruff. Shake it out. Yo, why are boys stupid? And this isn't even my situation that I'm about to talk about. It's a friend of mine's. It's just like, Guys really be fumbling the opportunities. They be having great girls and don't know how to show up properly. Like, let me give y'all a little bit of advice when it comes to dating. Don't waste your time trying to see what it could be, trying to see what'll happen, trying to give him a chance to show you different things. Girl, if he shows you something that you know you don't want to deal with, chop it up to that like be grateful that god is showing you early on that this is not the person you said you wanted to date and you can just casually talk to him if that's something you can do sometimes people you know can't maintain a relationship with folk that they are talking to me i can friend zone a man real quick and be cool like talking to him is just a friend i don't i ain't gonna get triggered i ain't gonna get unless i like really really like him and if so i have to stop talking to him but for the most part like if i figure out early on that a dude is not the kind of dude i'm trying to talk to i'm so grateful that it happens early in the talking stage so i'm not months down the line feeling like i wasted my time body and energy on this man that's just not what we doing ladies it's just not i want more for us and we shall get it but we're gonna have to demand it 
Like, we're gonna have to set the tone for that by being very clear in what it is that we want. And that doesn't mean you have to sit down on the first date and say, I need a man who's going to be dun 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 dun. But it's just like, when it's time to show up for yourself, you show up. When it's time for you to stand up and create a boundary for yourself, you do that. Like, that's one thing about it. I'm not staying quiet through no bullshit. If there's some bullshit going on, I'm calling it. What's what that lady say? You will never uh, get the chance to play with me again. Don't ever call my phone again. <laughs> I forget what she said. You will never have the opportunity to play with me again. Don't ever call my phone again. Like, yeah, like, talking to me, dating me is truly an experience. Like, I like myself. So when I get to talking to a guy, I'm just like, he's, this is great for him. I can only hope that I like him as much as I like myself. And that's not coming from like a narcissist weird ass place. That's coming from a place of understanding of, of I've spent time with myself. I know what I bring to the table. You know that conversation. Like I know I'm a good person. I know I'm a fun person. I know I'm funny. I know I'm a great listener. I know I'm introspective like i know these things about me and they are things that i love about myself and this person gets to enjoy those things in this time and at the very least i'm going to make sure that there are things that i enjoy about him and if there aren't and if those things aren't there or they're not consistent maybe we pull him back yeah we are pulling back mm -mm. i'm not playing games okay so tonight I am trying to go to bed earlier. I'm already fucking up because I think it's about to be midnight and I still haven't showered and I will definitely be showering. Um, but these last like few days I've been going to sleep at like 3.30 every night, which is unacceptable. Now I will say I'm not getting up till like 10.30, but still, I wanna go to sleep earlier. I don't like that. I might take a cute pic tomorrow. That might be what I do. That might be what I do. I'm in the mood for that. I'm in the mood for that, for sure. Nice little pic. Last day of my hair being stretched out. Give me a cute little pic in. Mm, let me fix this. Also tomorrow I'm gonna like clean my house. I'm gonna do like a spring cleaning type situation. Like a nice deep clean. Y'all hang out with me while I do that. All right, girl, this is all it's looking like for the night. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Hey, Sister Soul Sitcha. Sitcha? What? I wanna do a lip scrub, because I feel like my lips have been looking just like pale and gray, and I want the pink back into my lips. So just like more vibrancy. It just gives smoker's mouth to me. Like, I don't need nobody shaving me. The way I be shaving myself is crazy. Okay, so I just made that tea. Um, you know what I don't like about this milk? The fact that I can't see it. Like, I need to be able to see inside here and make sure there's nothing funny going on. Especially since you're supposed to drink this, like, in seven days. Well, it's at seven, seven to ten days. I just be like, I wanna see what's going on in there. I'm gonna buy some cute, like, glass picture situation. I'll put it on the, uh, on the Amazon storefront. Yeah. Which I'm still working on. I'm still working on it. Everybody knows that. Give me a chance, please. Add a little bit of milk to this. This is that chai, the spiced chai from Trader Joe's. I'm just in the mood for something, you know, like this. Might even throw in one of those cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna give it a taste first and see if it even needs anything additional, like sugar. And fuck yeah, it does. Okay, hold on. Death needs sugar. Good old block of sugar in there. I don't keep white sugar in my house. It feels oppressive. I just, um, I just use brown sugar. Yeah, I think I wanna get a cute like tea situation, like cute teaspoons. I think that's it. Little teaspoons. I really, really, really love tea. Um, I buy tea all the time, and I just don't be sitting down to make it. They be stealing this shit like it's crap. Ooh, girl. Not this fine-ass white man giving me the eye yesterday. I said, mm -hmm. 
I'm like, I might, I might see, I might, I might, I might see, right? Cause I have been there before with Justin, uh, Justin Randall Timberlake. Yeah, gave him the time of his life, the best years of his life. This is not opening and it's pissing me off. Open. Words are powerful. All right, let's put you in there. Use that to just spin things around. I just feel cute drinking a tea, like what? No, no, I need to finish my tea, no, no, no. Like, do not talk to me, I am drinking my tea right now. It just feels very elite. <laughs> very grown woman. Oh, so I had got these cookies because they literally say that they are good for teas and cups of coffee and like milk or whatever. Like you're supposed to drink it with, I mean eat them with the beverage. They're also vegan, these cookies are. They taste like the Delta cookies that you get on your flight, which I love. But then being vegan was such a surprise. I was like, oh, this is cute. I love that. Okay, let's give it a taste. See what we are hitting on. Better, much better. Um, also I remember like I scraped the roof of my mouth and then I like made it worse because one, I scraped it again, eating some chips. Like I just rubbed it raw. And then me and my friend went out and I had some lemon pepper wings and that just like was burning the roof of my mouth. And yeah, yesterday was just like, it just was so tender. And today I'm trying to just eat soft foods and drink warm liquids. And also I'm gonna be drinking a lot of lemon water. That's another thing. The lemon that I have, I think went back because it's soft. I need to make a list. Cause I need lemon. I need deodorant. Maybe need to go to the grocery store. I am hungry as shit though. You'll never guess what time it is. And I just woke up. Well, I've been up. I got up at a, I actually got up at eight something because I was getting text. But since I went to bed at three again, I, was like, no, I'm staying asleep till at least 10.30. And I ended up getting up at like 11.15. And then I just stayed in the bed on my phone until like 12 something. And then brushing my teeth, just like moving slow, call my homegirl, put the tea on the, on the stove, got down, brush my teeth, wash my face, now it's 12.53, 12.55. It's one of them days, girl, and I'm giving it to myself. It is what it is. I had a crazy, like these last, few weeks of just like trying to find a place and the stress of it all. I'm just like, listen, okay? Mm. Yum, great. I'm really inspired to like redo my apartment actually. Like I have a vision. It just requires me to actually like get this shit done. And without having a car, it just makes it such a drag to try to like find the stuff that I'm looking for. Cause like, I want to just run a target. I want to just, I want to see if they have what I need in Home Depot and Home Goods. And like, I just want to rip and run the city. And it's hard when you have to call an Uber to do that. Um, it's just costs too much money. So I'm thinking about renting a car to go around town to do that. My aunt is coming over here this weekend. I wanted her and my grandmother to come, but my grandma is so, sensitive about like COVID and stuff that she only wants to come if everyone is boosted and wearing a mask and, I, and I'm just, just like, girl, can we just get COVID tested? Like, I do think I'm gonna take a cute picture today though. I am in the mood for that. Like maybe I'll get cute before I go out and run my errands just so I can be cute while I'm out. Cause that does do something to my overall mood and also to my day. Sometimes, sometimes they don't do shit. But most times it's just like, Oh, these pink roses don't even look real. They're beautiful. Like, look at them. Oh, you can't really see them that good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll not show you like this. Like. Hello, girls. Oh, here's what I want to know. 
because Drake and 21 Savage dropped their album last night. I was twerking, I was just living my best black ass life. Last night listening to the album, didn't get all the way through it. I got like, I don't know, four, maybe five songs in. I hadn't heard the song where Drake said something about Meg getting shot. The lyric that I'm referring to is him saying, bitch lied about getting shot, but she's still a stallion though, or something like that. And it's like, you're clearly talking about Meg Stallion, number one. Number two, actually, let me get the lyric right. If I'm gonna talk about it, let me talk about it. If I'm gonna talk about it, let me talk about it. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you exactly what the lyric is. And it sucks because I was really enjoying the album. Yeah, I had got, last night I got to like song seven. That's what it was. Okay, so on this song called Circo Loco, he says, this bitch lie about getting shot, but she's still a stallion. Oh, y'all getting the lyric wrong. Not me about to not me about to correct everybody online. Is he okay? People are saying that he's talking about Meg. And I think what he's talking about is just a bitch with a BBL. I'm confused. Let me tweet about this. Don't and don't tear me up either. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. Yeah, people are saying he's talking about Meg, but as I'm reading that, I'm just like, I think he just poorly referenced, he kind of used the reference of Meg getting shot as a way to call out another stallion woman who's lying about getting shots, not getting shot. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Anyway, that's why I gotta say other people's stuff because Twitter, Twitter is not a safe place. Twitter is so damn back and forth, hot and cold, and now that this man done bought it, it's really turning into a mess because People just saying whatever the fuck they wanna say and the energy is just off. That bug is back on my window and I don't think y'all understand how that shit fucking bothers me. It bugs me. Hold on. Get it out. Look. Like if it wasn't so vile looking, I wouldn't mind. But it looks treacherous. Like if that ever came into my apartment, I would die. So that's why I don't even want it on the window because when I open up my window, it don't ever need to be out there right there like that. Somebody wrote me back and said it's a double entendre, but I'm just like, ugh. Anyway, but I, maybe I should stay off my phone today. It's giving stay off my phone today. It's giving stay off my phone today because people, is, they, they looking for a reason. I don't know if I shared the sign that I felt like God gave me that made me be like, okay, sign your lease here. Oh no, yes I did. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I told y'all I need to get ginkgo biloba. That's for your um for your memory. Cause I be forgetting. Big Edgar, God talk to me. He spoke to me. He so sure did. Yeah. I don't know. I fly with the stars in the sky. I am no longer trying to survive. I believe that life is a prize. But to live doesn't mean you're alive. Don't worry about me and who I fire. I get what I desire. It's my empire. And yes, I full of shots. I am the umpire. I sprinkle holy water upon a vampire. In this very moment, I'm king. In this very moment, I slay Goliath with the sling. In this very moment, I bring. Put it on everything. That I will retire with the ring. And I will retire with the crown. Yes. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. Clap for the heavyweight champ. Me, but I can end it all alone. We, young money raised me. Grew up out of Baisley, South South Jamaica. Queens and it's crazy, but I'm still hood. Uh, Hollywood couldn't change me. Shout out to my haters, sorry that he couldn't phase me. And being cocky, we just indicated. Best we know we don't 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 Put your drinks up. It's a celebration every time we link up. We done did everything they can think of. Greatness is what we want to bring up. We gotta run that back. I got the line wrong. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I fly with the stars in the skies. I am no longer trying to survive. I believe that life is a prize. But to live doesn't mean you're alive. Don't worry about me and who I fire. I get what I desire. It's my empire. And yes, I call the shots. I am the umpire. I sprinkle honey water upon a vampire. In this very moment, I'm queen. In this very moment, I slay Goliath with a sling. This very moment, I bring. Put it on everything. That I will retire with a ring. And I will retire with a crown. Yes. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. Clap for the heavyweight champ. 
me, but I could have to it all alone. We, young money raised me, grew up out of Baisley, Southside Jamaica, Queens and it's crazy, but I still hood, Hollywood couldn't take me. Shout out to my haters, sorry that you couldn't face me. And being cocky, we just vindicated. Best believe y'all, when we done this moment, we'll be syndicated. I don't know, this night just remind me of everything they deprived me of. Here, put your drinks up. It's a celebration every time we link up. We done did everything they got it. This is what we gonna bring the crew. And sometimes you just gotta do that. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just have to do that. Um. Like my thing is that this is why I don't like Nikki beefing with people is because what other female rapper are we rapping bar for bar? Like, there is none, none of these new girls do I know a whole bar that I could rap right now. The gun could be right here to the temple. I would not be able to rap a full bar from any of the new girls. It's just like, Nikki, you're the one. We know this. These are your sons and they know this. And I'm not, it's, it's not coming from like a bar place. I'm not a bar, I'm a Nicki fan, but I'm certainly not like online, like going in for Nicki. My point is just like, I hate to see someone who is so clearly a legend get mixed up in having to defend her status when it needs no defending. It's never been questioned. The only person who feels like she needs to defend it is her. And it's just so cringe to watch. I hate it so much. Her whole brand has turned into her defending herself and defending her her um, place. And it's just like, Nikki, you don't have to do that, baby. You is the co-ween and everybody know that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Just hate to see it go down. And the thing is, when you do that, you put yourself in a position for people to tear down all your shit. So her relationship that people ain't too fond of, you know what I mean? The people who she chooses to work with, the clothes she, used to, she decides to wear, every, every little thing about her, her personal life, people gonna tear that shit up. I think um, let me let my phone charge a bit and then we're gonna do the makeups because the other night I was going to do my makeup on camera and I didn't so I owe you guys that much let me let my phone charge bye I mean like my, my camera I can't even think cuz I'm that girl hold on one second <laughs> not me completely forgetting to put my camera on and show you how I did my makeup and forgetting to put my camera on and show you the outfit look that I came up with with my that girl t-shirt 
Just came back from the grocery store, got more roses, cause I just couldn't help myself, they were on sale. And I also got just a little stuff to eat with this irritated roof in my mouth. Like I, I want this to be done by today. And so I don't wanna eat anything that's gonna keep scratching it up. Everything I've been eating coincidentally has been like a fried something or like super, like the lemon pepper, like the seasoning is like super pungent. And so, yeah, and it's like raw. But I definitely achieved the cute pick. I got a cute pick. Oh, one thing about it, I really used to love this fucking yogurt. Activia. And so I said, let me uh, buy that. Cause I really used to like that. And I just stopped getting it for some reason. I haven't really eaten today, so I'm like low energy. Let me get something cooking and I'll meet you back for a late night talk. Bye. Okay, dinner tonight is real light and quaint. I use chicken bone broth and I put some of that chicken I cooked the other day in here, cut that up, put that in here, and just some scallions and shiitake mushrooms and like a little bit of chicken bouillon because the chicken bone broth I got was a low sodium one. And I love the no sodium idea, but the low sodium taste. Give me the sodium, right? Just go ahead and give it some flavor. I'll take it, it's fine. I'm also gonna eat a little avocado on the side too. I forgot my lime, which is kind of crucial. I love lime in my soup. Well, like, in like chicken soups or foes. Like if there's a broth and it's chicken or beef broth, I'm gonna use broth. I'm gonna use um, a lime. It just gives it a nice fresh taste. I think I'm low in zinc or iron or something. I'm always low in iron. I'm one of them girls. That lime will do it every time. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm looking like an oily overdue mess. Um, so, first of all, get out my business. Second of all, Look at Budgie. Where is that other one? Oh, it's sitting right here. Look at me. I'm supposed to cook for you. I'm supposed to cook. I'm supposed to cook for you. I'm supposed to cook. I'm supposed to cook for you. 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 So, wear this one. Wear this one for now. First, I'm gonna brush my hair out. Tomorrow, I am going to wash my hair which I'm excited to do, just to like, you know, sometimes I get excited for a wash day, like knowing my hair is gonna be nice and fresh and smelling good, like I look forward to that. Cause even though it looks cute right now, it's deaf not fresh and could use a freshening up. So this boy invited me to his screening tomorrow. Am I ever gonna start calling men, men? Like I feel like I'm gonna forever call them boys. And just because I still refer to myself as like, girl, you know what I mean? Like, I don't mean it in like a little boy type way. It's just like, boy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to this boy's screening and I've never met him, but um, he seems cool. Now here's what I will say. He did not pay for my ticket to come to his screening. And I know what you're thinking, give me, give me. Why? Why does he need to pay for the ticket? If you gonna go, you should be paying. But, I don't know, you invite somebody to your stuff. You know what I mean? You assume it's gonna be taken care of. I don't know. That's just what I was thinking, but I don't know. I don't mind supporting though. So, I'm really only halfway. Like, what the fuck? Doing a nice, like, clean brush with my hair like this is really so satisfying because I very rarely get to do it or desire to do it. Like, normally my hair is in its natural curly state. And, yeah, I ain't brushing that out. Ah, nice. Nice. Let's do the other side. A little bit shedding. When I break my hair up in sections, I really pay attention to 
how much hair is shedding and where. That's how you can track like if you're dealing with some hair loss or if like the shedding that you that you've got going on is more serious. Like my hair isn't dirty, but it's definitely not clean. It's just like filled with product. Oh, so I was talking to my friend about men, of course. We're both single and she is in a place in her life where she wants to just go out and have a good time. Like she doesn't want to be sitting in the house. She wants to be outside to give herself opportunities to meet men, but she's not meeting them. And my point when I was talking to her was like, I feel that same way. Like I know I have to kind of go out more. There's a part of me that understands that I have to go out more if I want to meet men, period. Like they're not going to be in my apartment. But the other part of me doesn't want to compromise who I am in order to meet a man. Like I'm not going to all of a sudden start going to the club because I'm trying to meet men because that's not even me. And my man really ain't gonna be in nobody's club. Not just casually, like he had to be celebrating somebody's birthday or something. And so it's just like, I was explaining to her, I don't want to get in the habit of doing shit that's really out of character for me. And essentially will put me around spaces that aren't really even spaces I want to be in. Like if I meet a man at the club, that man's probably gonna wanna keep going to the club. Like, and because that's not me, at some point I'm gonna be like annoyed that he's going to the club and try to get him to stop going to the club. And that's not fair to him because it's like, this is where you met me. This is what I do. And so I keep that kind of stuff in mind. I'm just getting a good look at my hair. My hair is uneven because I decided I was gonna cut it like I knew what I was doing. Like, here's my hair all brushed out. I got a new idea. Fixing my hair like I do the brew. No, I'm going and I know what to do. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I'm going to put this into a bun. We are done for the evening. Thank you so much. But you're done. Let's put you. Not me liking this brushed out look. I might have to wear my hair like this tomorrow. I don't know what I'm wearing yet to the um to the boys thing, but I kind of like that look. And, uh, all right, let's uh let's do a little skincare. I want to give myself a little facial. I have one little pore that's clogged, and so. Bring out the steamer. I'm sure this steamer is actually just like not good because you put this water in here. Oops. And basically there's no way to um clean the inside. And anywhere that water sits and like doesn't fully like air out, it grows bacteria. So like this probably is not the best for my face. But guess who's still plugging it in? <laughs> yeah. Death's still about to use it. Okay. First, we're gonna get the makeup off. I have been using this uh, micellar water from Garnier Skin Active. Is this the same as Garnier Fruities? Uh, I've been using this for since I purchased it, which I think was two vlogs ago. I like it a lot. It gets all the makeup off. Well. It gets like the first layer of makeup off. I do a double cleanse. So after I get the makeup off with this micellar water, I wash my face sometimes twice with my simple face wash. You can use any face wash you want. That's the one that I'm using. And the thing about the micellar water is that you don't have to do a lot of tugging. So really what I do is I kind of like place this on my face, let it sit there for a second, and then gently like wipe away and there's your makeup, not too much. The whole purpose of me doing this was to use something that I felt like wasn't pulling and tugging on my skin as much. The makeup wipes, I just felt like were not the best. I should probably take this shirt off, but am I going to? What I don't like about this process is that I'm kind of like rubbing the same 
thing all over my face. Whereas with the makeup wipe, I had more space to work with. So like once I see it's covered with makeup, I go to a white part of the makeup wipe and use that. And on this, since this pad is, even though these are like large pads, still fills up. So there's the brow. Place that there, okay, go. Can you really, I don't know if you can really tell. My brows aren't that um, filled where you would be able to tell for real. I really thought I was doing something. <laughs> now, because we know how my camera gets down, I'm gonna tell you what I'm about to use on my face just in case my camera decides to act up. I'll go ahead and turn on this steamer now. Since I'm doing like a full steaming situation, the nighttime routine is gonna look a little different. So to start, I'm going to wash my face with this. That'll get the first layer off. I'm gonna go under the steamer. And while I'm under the steamer, I'm gonna use this cleansing complex from Is Clinical. This is a very expensive, can you see it? A very expensive cleanser that a friend of mine put me on that like uh, dermatologists and facialists use. It's a medical grade cleanser, that's why it's so expensive. I do not suggest you purchasing this. You do not need this. I'm using it because I bought it, but it really gets down deep into the pores and like i said it's something that facialists and dermatologists use so yeah it's gentle but it's at one point i was using that every day my friend was like you cannot use that shit every day and so yeah it is strong in the sense of like it's really getting up under the skin so it's not something you can use every day but it's perfect on a facial day so after i cleanse with those two what am i gonna do next i think i'm gonna go in with the uh liquid exfoliant i've been using retinol these last couple of days or maybe i should do nothing tonight and use this tomorrow yeah i don't want to fuck nothing up that sounds like a lot i need to take a break i need to take a break so tonight i'll just cleanse and moisturize so let me do that hold on first step before i do anything with my face is to wash my hands I wash my hands i make sure i get up under my nails like I don't think people realize how much like bacteria and germs is just sitting on our hands. And then we'd be wondering why we have a random breakout. That's why, girl, could be why. It could be a thousand reasons why. But if you wash your hands, at least you'll know it's not from some random whatever that was on your hands. 